<laughs> no worries. So I'm, we're just recording now, which is awesome. So for our recording, just a reminder, uh, we are recording everything that's going to be happening today. We're not going to be recording your faces, but if I do ask a question and you guys want to answer it, then your answer will show up on the recording. So just to let everyone know, but are you guys ready to get started? Okay, awesome. So let's go to our top down camera and I'll show you guys what you will need. It's just gonna be perfect. So for today's craft, you guys are going to need some glue. So you could use either a glue gun, a glue stick or some white glue. I'm gonna be using the white glue, but if you don't have that, then there are other options you can use. So I'll put those off to the side for now. You're also going to need some scissors. You're going to need a pencil or a pencil crayon or a crayon. So something to draw with, some colored markers. If you have the color black, that will be perfect because we're going to be adding a special outline to our Among Us character. Some paper in any color you want. So you can choose any color of the rainbow. And to make our craft for today, you're going to need clothes pegs. If you don't have clothes pegs, that's okay. I can show you how to do it with pieces of paper as well. But for today's craft, we're going to be making some a little Among Us people here. And I wonder which one's the imposter and which one's the crewmate. Let's find out. Oh, <gasps> I think we know. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make an imposter with his big scary mouth and long tongue. And I can show you guys how to make a crewmate with his bone on the inside. So the first thing that we are going to need to start our craft is we're going to need a piece of colored paper. So you guys can choose any color that you want. I think today for fun, I'm going to choose the color yellow because I really like the color yellow. And what we're going to do is we are going to make the shape of our Among Us character. Now, the easiest way to do this is to break it down into some simple shapes. So to start, we're going to need to give it a bean body. So using my pencil crayon, I'm going to draw out a long looking bean, just like this. And I'll hold it up so everyone can see. If anyone can see that over there, let's see, are you gonna focus on me? There we go, it's a little hard to see, so I might go slightly darker. But we're going to draw out our bean body just like this. And if you have a pencil, you can always erase the lines later. Once you've drawn out your bean body, we're going to need to add the feet. So in order to add the feet, you're going to draw out two smaller circles at the bottom of our bean. So there's one. And there is two. So we now have two smaller circles at the bottom of our bean. To add a backpack, we're going to need to add a rectangle. So on one side of your Among Us, choose which side you want to add the backpack. So if you want it to be on the left side or the right side, and you're going to draw out a long looking rectangle shape. And then last but not least, we need to draw out a circle right in the middle of our bean. And that's gonna be where his face is going to be. So again, taking your pencil, draw out a nice looking circle, right where you think your Among Us face might be. And you can kind of go over your lines as many times as you want to make sure that it looks just right and you should get an Among Us looking shape. Awesome. 
So hi, everyone. Welcome to all of my friends that have just joined. We've got so many people, which is awesome. So before we get started to all of my friends who have just joined, we are going to be making some Among Us themed puppets today. Now, before we get started, this is just a reminder to let you know that we do record our crafter noons. That way, our friends that don't get to do it right now can see it another time. But we won't be recording your faces. We're only going to be recording anything that you hear when we're speaking. So if I ask you guys a question and you answer it, it will show up on the recording. So my new friends that have just joined, we're just drawing out the shape of an Among Us character right now. And they kind of look like that. So what we did is we broke it down and drew a really big beam and then two beans for feet, a rectangle for the back, and then a circle for the head. Once you guys have drawn out your Among Us character, we're going to take our scissors and we are going to cut it out. So using your scissors, if you're my, for my friends who are a little smaller, you might need some help with this, but we're going to cut around the outside of our Among Us character. And you can go nice and slow. I'm going nice and slow so that I don't mess up. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, I'm wearing Among Us themed earrings today as well. I thought I would get all dressed up. Yeah, it's a little hard to see, but I have my little Among Us character right here on my ears as well, because I thought, why not show them off? So slowly go around and cut out your character. Makes it a little bit easier if you cut it out and then you can go in and cut out the little bits of detailing. Yes, who has a question, Claudia? Awesome, Claudia, what's your question? We joined late, so we don't know how to make the Among Us character. You don't know how to make, of course. So while my friends are cutting out, I will show you guys very quickly how to make the Among Us character. So what you will need is a piece of colored paper and your pencil. The first thing you're going to do is draw out a bean looking circle, just like this. Then to do the feet, you're going to draw out two smaller beans. So we have one and two for our feet. For the backpack, you're going to draw out a rectangle. So you have to choose if you want it to be on the left side or the right side. And then last but not least, to do the face, you're going to draw a circle right at the very top. So it will end up looking like this shape here. So we have our bean, our two small bean feet, a rectangle background and a circle for the head. So once you guys have cut out the shape of your Among Us character, the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to color it in. So if you guys notice, my characters have a light color on top and a dark color on the bottom. So what you can do is taking your pencil crayons, crayons or markers, you can take your character and then color in so that it looks like it has a light top and a dark top. Now, because I'm using yellow, I'm going to use a red so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing, but I'm going to color in the backpack first. So I'm going to make it so that the bottom of the backpack is a darker color. 
than the top of the backpack. And for the bottom of the legs, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm gonna take my marker and I'm going to draw almost like an upside down mountain or a fish hook. And then I'm gonna color in the entire bottom half of my Among Us character. Now this can be any color you want, or if you want it to look like the characters in the game, you will need to do the darker color. So if you're doing green, you'll need to do dark green. If you're doing red, you will need to do dark red. And what you're going to do is using that color, you are going to color in the bottom of your Among Us character. Some hands up, let's see. Okay, let's see, James, can you raise your, can you tell me what's your question? Um, I have a really question, but I know, um, I've, I know about Among Us a lot, because um, I've played it a lot, and I've actually drawn a character, but now that opens his mouth, so mm -hmm. I draw a little suit, <gasps> and a little knife sticking onto its head. Oh my goodness, awesome. These are looking really cool, guys. I can't wait to see what the final ones are gonna look like. And Emily, you had a question as well? Uh-huh. What was your question? I played Among Us before. You played it before too? Oh, it looks like lots of people have played it before. Awesome. <laughs> well, we'll have to show once, off all of our characters once we're done. Once I was even with the imposter. You were even the imposter. Oh my goodness. That sounds really awesome. So once you guys have colored in your shading, I just did that line so you can see what I'm going to do. But we are going to take another piece of paper and this time we're going to take it in the color blue. And we're going to draw a circle to cut out and glue right where our imposter's face is going to be. So I drew this little line so you guys can see that's how big my circle is going to be. So what I like to do is I like to put my imposter on top of the blue piece of paper so that I can draw the outside line like this so I know exactly where my circle is going to go. And then I'm going to take my pencil and draw in the rest of the circle. So I have a nice big circle just like this to work with. Charlie and Liam, yes. Do you have a question? Yes. So he's wondering how is he gonna do his eye because he's already using a blue background. Already using a blue background? Okay, so for my friends that have decided to make a blue among us, you don't have to cut out the blue circle because the background is already blue. What you can do is taking a blue marker, you can start adding the shading. And that's exactly what I'm about to show you guys right now. So hold on to that dark blue marker, okay? Okay, thank you. And I'll show you guys exactly what to do. So what I have done, because I'm using a yellow piece of paper, is I'm taking my blue piece of paper and then I'm going to be sticking it down right where the face is going to be. And I'm just going to use some normal everyday white school glue. And I'm gonna add a little bit. Can I add my school glue on there? Are you gonna let me do it? Let's see if it lets me do it. Sometimes it gets a little bit stuck. There we go, now we have our glue. So I'm going to glue on my blue piece of paper right to the top, like this. And then once you've added the face, for my friend who did the blue among us, this is where you can start following along as well. I'm gonna take a dark blue marker and I'm going to color in almost like a upside down fish hook. I'm gonna draw a down curved line just like that. 
and then I'm going to color it in so that it is nice and dark blue. And that is going to be our face. And the best part with coloring is you guys can choose how big or how small you want the shade to be. So, so far for my friends that are still coloring, we did our Among Us color, and then we shaded in the bottom. Then we cut out a blue circle and then colored in the bottom of our blue circle with a darker blue. The last thing that we need to do to finish coloring is we need to make it the signature Among Us art by adding a black outline. So taking a black marker, pencil crayon or crayon, we are going to color all the way around the Among Us in a thick black line just so it looks like the characters inside the game. So I'm taking my character. If you don't want it to go on the table, you can always move your character on top of another piece of paper. That way you don't have to worry about any marker or pencil crayon going on the table. You're going to color in all the way around in a really big thick black line. so that we can outline our little Among Us. Now I'm taking my black marker and I'm kind of laying it on its side so it makes a really nice thick black line. But if you don't want it to be this thick, you can always make a teeny tiny thin line as well. But we're gonna go all the way around the outside. And I'm gonna do it again with the backpack. So I'm going to outline the backpack all the way around. And then when you get to the face, you'll also have to color around the face as well. So the whole face will have to have a black outline. So I'm going to take my time and make sure that I go all the way around. So it has a nice outline. Just like that. And then last but not least, I'm going to do the top of the head. Would anyone like to show off what their Among Us look like right now? If you guys wanna show it off, hold it up to the camera so I can see. Oh, I love it. I'm seeing some pink ones. I'm seeing some blue. Oh my goodness. Look how awesome these look. These look amazing. Oh, I see an orange. I love an orange. That's the character that I like to play the most is orange. Oh, I see more pink and red. These are looking amazing, guys. Keep going at it. So for my friends, don't forget to start going all the way around with a big black outline. So your should look like this. It should have a light color, a dark color, a blue face with dark blue shadows, and then a black outline all the way around. And I'll hold it up to the camera just like this so you guys can see. So your Among Us should slowly start looking like this. Now, this is where it's going to get a little bit tricky. So taking your handy dandy scissors, we are going to, and unfortunately, we just work so hard, we're going to have to cut right down the middle, just like this, so that there are two pieces. There is a top and a bottom. And that is so when we open and close it, it will look like that. Yes, of course. If you don't have blue paper, you can always just color it in 
the entire thing with your pencil crayon, crayon or marker. Just making it so the top part is a light blue and the bottom part is a dark blue. Awesome. Yes, yeah, so Emily, you had another question? Yeah. What was Are your we question? supposed to cover when the top yeah, part? Yeah, we, we didn't do it because you weren't there. We didn't want to use process in case, you know. Yep, you can color in the top part as well. So what I did is I, I used a yellow piece of paper. So I didn't need to color this part. But if you wanted it to be a different color, then you can use whatever you have to color it in. But we're just coloring in the bottom part and then we're coloring in the face as well. So once you have everything colored in and you've cut it in half, the next thing you are going to need is your clothes peg. If you have a clothes peg to do this, and I'll also show you guys how to do it without a clothes peg too. You're going to take your clothes peg and you're going to put it on the side just like this. Then taking your glue, you're going to put some glue on the top part of the clothes peg and the bottom part of the clothes peg. And I'm going to take my glue just like this and I'm going to put some along the top and the bottom. And I'll hold it up to the camera so you guys can see. So I have glue on the top clothes peg and glue on the bottom. And then taking your piece of Among Us, I'm gonna start with my butt first. I'm going to stick it down and then hold it in place for a good 10 seconds so that it sticks. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And then again, the same thing with the top. I'm going to put it on the top clothes peg and then I'm going to hold it down and I'm going to count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Does my friend CW have a question? What would you like to ask? What if you don't um what if you don't have a what if you don't have glue on a that clip thing? Okay, so if you don't have a clothes peg, then what you can do is taking some scissors. Do you have tape or do you have a glue stick or anything like that? Because what you can do is taking some piece of paper, you can cut out two long rectangles, just like this. So I'm gonna cut out two rectangles. Then using some glue or tape or a glue stick or hot glue. So anything that you have, you can make it by sticking it down so that it kind of makes a V just like this. And then taking your Among Us, you're going to stick one on the bottom and one on the top. And then you can hold it together just like this and then open up your two strips of paper if you don't have a clothes peg. So I will leave that there to dry. And going back to our clothes peg, I'm gonna do it nice and slowly so you guys can see. But if you have a clothes peg, yours should start looking like this. If you don't have a clothes peg and you put it on top of the pieces of paper, Picture the piece of paper underneath just like this, and then you just move it with your hands, just like so. So, so can you show me once again for the clothes peg? Can you show it just one more time how yeah, to do of it? Of course. So Thank for you. the clothes peg, what I did was I took some glue and I put some glue on the top of the clothes peg and some glue on the bottom of the clothes peg. Then I took the top piece and I stuck it down on the top and held it for 10 seconds so that it would stay. And then for the bottom piece, I stuck it on the bottom of the clothes peg and I held it there for another 10 seconds so that it would stay. And this Thank you. is what it looks like on the back. 
So I glued it down to the top and bottom. So when you open it, it kind of looks like it's eating it with its mouth. Nom, 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 nom. So while we let this dry, we are going to be working on the tongue or the bone. So for my friends, you guys have to choose what your Among Us is going to be. Is it going to be an imposter or is it going to be a crewmate? If you want it to be an imposter, you will have to take your paper and I'm going to choose a really nice looking red. And we are going to draw out a tongue shape. Now the imposter's tongue is like a really long monster tongue. So to do that, I would take my marker and I would draw a curly looking spiked snake, just like that. So one side is pointed for the tongue and the other side is flat so we can glue it down. And I'll show you guys again. I'll take my marker and I will draw a curly snake with a flat head. So if you're doing an imposter, we're gonna draw that shape. If you're doing a crewmate and you want the bone in the middle, then we need to draw a bone shape. So to do a bone shape, you're going to draw a line up and then two almost Mickey Mouse ears. So one and two. And then you're going to draw your line down again. And there, if you want to add a second part of the bone, just for fun, you can add a full bone too. And you can choose which side of the bone you want. So I'm thinking my yellow buddy is going to be the imposter. So once you've drawn out, if you want it to be a curly snake or a bone, taking your handy dandy scissors, you're going to cut it out. So I'm going to cut out an imposter's tongue. So I've got my scissors right here and I'm going to cut out my curly looking snake shape, just like this. And when you're using your scissors, you can go around it a bit more to make it look just how you want it to look. So if you don't like how it looks on the piece of paper, you can define it a little bit more with your scissors. So I don't like how it looks there. So I'm gonna go in with my scissors and fix it up a little bit. So it looks just how I want it to look. So now, I have a curly looking tongue. So to add our tongue or our bone, we are going to take our character and we're going to flip it over just like this. Then taking your, if you're doing a tongue, you're going to glue it to the bottom of the clothes peg. Okay, but if you're doing a bone, then you're going to glue it whoops, to the bottom of your Among Us's butt. Does that make sense? So I'm going to show it up here. So if you're doing a bone, you're going to glue it right there, right in the middle. If you're doing a tongue, you're going to glue it right here on the bottom. So I'm going to fold it over so you guys can see. So I glued it on the bottom of the clothes peg. So I'm gonna take my handy dandy glue again and I'm going to glue on the bottom of the clothes peg right over here. So let's add my handy dandy glue again. And then just like before, I'm gonna hold it down and count to 10 so that it can stay in place. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then when I flip it over, you should see. Oh, I gotta hold it this way so you guys can see. My imposter has a crazy looking tongue. 
Now, if you want to give your imposter some teeth, like what I did here, what I did is I cut out some triangle shapes and then I stuck them on the bottom of the piece of paper. So they had some pointed teeth. But you don't have to do that if you guys don't want to. If you just want it to have the tongue so that you don't know what your imposter is until you open it up, then you guys can do that too. Now, the best part about Among Us is they like to have hats too. And I gave my hat, I gave my one right here a leaf hat, and I gave my green one a cherry hat. So if you guys want to give your Among Us some personality, then you can actually add a hat to it too. So I think I'm going to finish off my yellow Among Us and I'm going to give him an egg hat. I think that would be kind of super silly to make a, a hat so he looked like he has an egg on his head. So what I would do is I would take my yellow paper that I made before and I'm going to draw out an egg shape. I'm going to draw out a nice sunny side up egg and I'm going to make it look just like that. So a sunny side egg. And then just like before, we're going to go around with a thick black outline. Now you guys can give your Among Us character any hat that you want. You can make it wear a flamingo, or it could wear a flower or a ghost hat. It could be anything that you guys think that your cool among us would wear. And I might color. Can we also it. make it like the new airship map? You could make it like the new airship map too, if you wanted to add a heart or if you wanted to add horns or a hat or monocle, you guys can add anything that you want to make it look just right. And once you guys have drawn your hat, just like what we did before, we're going to cut it out and then glue it to the top. So I'm going to cut out my egg hat right here. Let me make it nice and perfect. Going with our scissors just like so. Okay, so I just got noted right now that for any of my friends that love to do cooking, tomorrow at 5.30 p.m., we are going to be showing you guys how to make homemade peanut butter cups. Peanut butter Reese's cups. So we'll be dropping the link in the chat. So if you guys like to do some cooking or baking tomorrow at 5.30 30 p.m. We'll be showing you guys how to make some peanut butter cups, which actually sounds really yummy. I kind of want one now. <laughs> so my friend James, yes, what was your question? You got to make sure you say it really loud. Oh, you just want to show? Let's see. Oh my goodness. Look how amazing they are. Oh, and I see Olivia, your hand is up too. Did you have a question as well? What was your question? Do you want to say it nice and loud so I can hear? Would you like to say your question, Olivia? You don't have to if you don't want to. You do? Okay, what was your question? <laughs> you said 5 what p.m.? So 5.30 as in 3 and 0. So 5.30 is when the peanut butter cups are. So who else, my friend, had a question? Emily, did you have a question? What was your question? Yeah. I like to bake cakes. And I also wanted to say on my Among Us capsule. Oh, I love, to, I love to bake cakes too. They're super yummy. Yeah. So for the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my egg and I'm just gluing it right on top like a silly hat. Just this like is mine. 
I have a question on so this. We have our Among Us. So my friend, who yeah. else had a question? Was that all the questions? So if you're all done, do you guys want to show them up so I can see? I want to see if anyone made an imposter or if anyone made a crewmate. Let's see. Oh, I see lots of imposters going on with lots of tongues. Oh, scary. Oh, I'm loving these guys. They look amazing. Oh, I see a purple crewmate up there that's got an awesome looking hat. Ooh, these look amazing as oh, I see some scary teeth. Oh, wow. These guys ended up looking fantastic. You guys did such an amazing job. Oh, I see we got another yellow one with an egg hat. Oh, wow. Uh, yes, Charlie and Lee, did you guys have one more question? Did you guys have any more questions? <laughs> no, we didn't. Thank you. you. Thank You're you. welcome. <laughs> well, thank you guys thank you. so much for coming out. Did anyone have any more questions or anyone want to ask anything okay. about my stuff? Yes, I see my friend Arlo and uh, Melodia. Did you guys have a question too? What would you guys like to ask? I made Rainbow Among Us character. <gasps> a rain oh my goodness, that's amazing. I, I like that idea. I wish I did a, a rainbow one. I think that looks super cool. Did anyone else have any other questions or did you want to just show them off? Oh, I see my friend with the James down there. What was your question? Um, there is actually a rainbow crewmate, but it's rare. It's a oh, it's super rare. Okay, maybe I'll. Have Basically, to it's a myth among us. So yeah, I'll have to look for it the next time I play, and I'll have to new, play the new map too. I've only seen the new map once. <laughs> well, thank you guys so 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 much for coming out. I hope that you guys had lots of fun. Oh, I see Emily. Did you have one more question? Yeah. What was your question? I wanted to show you mine. Okay, okay, of course. Hold it up right up to the camera so I can see. Oh, look at that. And it's got such super scary teeth, too. Oh, my goodness. I think an imposter might be really popular. I'm thinking of the hat being horns. Like. Ooh, we're adding some horns, too. Oh, I see, Olivia, your hand's up as well. We've got lots of questions. Oh, and MC as well. I see yours, too. Um, I didn't have a paper clip, but I used paper. But I did a different type where I could actually do this. <gasps> That's actually a really cool idea. You know what? I might show my friends up here as well who might not get to see it. So it looks like what you did was, did you take your piece of paper and then did you yeah. fold it into a rectangle? Yes. And then did you fold your rectangle in half just like this? Yes. And then you pinched it like this, right? Yeah. That's but, such a really good idea. Thank you for sharing. So for my friends that didn't see, my friend Olivia here, she cut out a piece of paper. She folded it so that it became a long kind of rectangle. And then when she folded it in half again, she could kind of pinch it like this. So for my friends that didn't have a clothes peg, you could use your piece of paper like this instead to open and close. Thank you so much for that idea, Olivia. That was a, that's a really creative idea. Thank you. So I see my friend MC. Let's have one more question before we go. So what was your question, MC? I wanted to show you my um, crewmate. Um, it's a pink imposter, but it's not really good. <gasps> Ooh, it looks awesome. That looks amazing. You guys did such a good job. Okay, was there any other last- Can I question? show you mine? Of course, I can see everyone's here. So if you guys wanna show them off, you can hold them right up to the camera and then I can see every single one. Wow, look at these, they look so good. I love that there's a mix of both crewmate and imposter. I'm loving the orange one too. Oh, my, my little friend down there, Susan, did you wanna show yours too? And you had your hand up. Did you have a question? Oh, 
look at that. Oh, you guys did such an amazing job. Good job, everyone. That was fantastic. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so, so, so much for coming out. I hope that you guys had lots and lots of fun. Stay tuned for more Craft and Noons. We're going to be doing them next week as well. We might be changing the time to four. Oh, we're not. We're going to keep it this time. Okay, so perfect. So we're going to be keeping the time at just the way it is now. So don't worry about the time. So next week, same time, we're going to be doing more Crafternoons. So thank you guys. I'll see you guys again next week. Remember Bye. to see you next everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you so much. Bye. Stay safe. Bye. Take care, Bye. everyone, and Bye. have fun playing Bye. among us. I want to know how to go. <laughs>